Despite the federal government giving states and school districts billions of dollars to combat student learning loss during the COVID-19 pandemic, student achievement is on the decline across the nation, and the money to solve it may not be enough, especially for places with the greatest needs. A. While federal emergency relief dollars for schools specifically set aside to address student learning loss totaled about $189 billion, schools needed about $500 billion, the new study from the American Educational Research Association found. As grave as the need may be for additional resources, the authors of the study are urging the federal government to look at recent national standardized test score results showing declines in student achievement before giving states and districts any more money. In their analysis, the authors compared federal government spending during the pandemic with its spending during the Great Recession. In both cases, they found that the way the money was distributed and how it was earmarked, or not, for specific uses has been problematic and did not meet intended policy goals. Despite the radically different impacts that the Great Recession and the COVID-19 pandemic have had on U.S. society and on. President Joe Biden signed the American Rescue Plan into law in March 2021, allocating $1.9 trillion in federal aid and emergency assistance funds in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The plan included money for schools to address student learning laws, open schools safely, address student mental health and handle other pandemic-related needs. Part of those funds were set aside specifically to mitigate learning loss. The federal government has not yet handed out all of the relief dollars to schools. States and school districts have the resources they need, and are required to address the impacts of the pandemic on students' learning. States are specifically required to address the needs of students' disreport. While the federal government holds onto what's left of the aid money, the Education Department should consider spending on the most at need students, Steinberg said. From a policy perspective, increasing the amount of federal aid might be difficult politically, but publicizing the costs needed to our 